Welcome to Saturday's Warrior. I'm Trevor, and this is Adam. And today we are going to be ranking B, uh, the games on BYU's schedule for this upcoming football season based on hype. And uh, we didn't really define that, so we left it up to us. So both of us have ranked the all of our all of BYU's games one through twelve, and uh, you know, and we haven't disclosed them. Adam did, but uh, I didn't look. Uh, at, <laughs> so honest I man. <laughs> but uh, I will go through and, and debate how we rank it. But before we jump into that, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. It really helps us a lot uh, grow and continue to reach more and more Cougar fans out there. So, all right, Adam, I am going to go ahead and pull up the screen. So the way I did this is basically, or I, I thought we'd go through it is basically, we'll start with you. We'll just go through um starting at the lowest spot and we'll kind of work our way up to number one. Uh, and, uh, as you say one, you know, I'll, I'll, you know, if you have it 12, I have it nine, you know, we'll, we'll just put them on there and discuss them both at the same time. Okay. All right. Let's do it. What's your number 12? My number 12, most meaningless unhyped game of the season. I'm going with at UCF at the bounce house. Nice. Um, Every game has has intrigue. Every game has storylines. We're facing KJ Jefferson, um, visiting UCF, um, but uh, this game comes right before the Utah game, comes right before the bye, middle of the season. I don't has think it has a lot of implications for us as far as uh, bowl eligibility. Uh, well, for us, every game will come down come down to that. We're going to need every game we can. But I just I don't feel good about us traveling to Orlando in the middle of the season, looking ahead to the Utah game. Um, you know, it, every game's exciting for, for BYU, but if I got to pick one to come in last, this is it. Yeah. You know, they're not going to blame me that I didn't look at yours. Cause I, in my example, I said, if yours is 12 and mine's nine, uh, <laughs> so, uh, but I didn't No, I agree with you. I, I could have uh, argued to put UCF a little bit lower. I left them at nine because there's a slight off chance as being the one BYU East Coast game that perhaps I go to it. And so uh, <laughs> you know, if I were going, then obviously be more hyped. But that's right. Yeah, it's and, and I'll just uh, put up my my 12th right now was uh, SMU. I just kind of put these out of conference games lower. Where'd you got S SMU? I got it at 11. So that's a that's a good spot. Um, and And let me just say. Um, based on recent happenings in basketball and the fact that we're in the Big 12, Tom Homo will go down, always be the greatest athletic director of all time for BYU. I'm, I'm convinced of that. But what in the world is with our non-conference slate this year? I don't love it. Um, we, you know, of the, of the millions of teams that felt like we had lined up to play for independence, we end up with this non-conference slate, which I don't think is good for BYU on a number of levels. I'm not looking forward to going at SMU early in the season, trying to figure out our quarterback. Um, yeah, not not excited about that game. Yeah, so I, I completely agree. <clears throat> our, our schedule, our conference, in conference schedule is already tough because we're facing all of the top, I think probably six teams that you know expected to shake yep. out. You know, based on preseason expectations right and then our out of conference is playing at two well okay so smu is not g5 anymore but um at two schools that while are not world beaters are definitely tough opponents especially going to their house so yeah i'm not excited about that um i thought i i had a couple ways of looking at this when i was doing my hype because i was like maybe i should rank all of the games that are most winnable as the highest ones because those are the games I'm, I'm most, <laughs> we have to have those whereas we're expected to lose some of these others but yeah like you said i'm just not super hyped about this out of conference schedule which is which actually benefited ucf which going back to the first one is is why they're as high as they are for me yeah yeah so how do you uh, what do you have next at 10 at 10 i have southern illinois Speaking about of conference games, home opener. I am excited about this. Um, you know, you get you get, you tell a lot from a home opener against an FCS school. Um, I know everybody says, "Oh, well, it's it's a patsy," and so what if you look good? It's bad if you look bad. I mean, look at the look at the, you know some of the performances we've had against some bad FCS schools. Yeah, if you Houston, come in and trounce them, Portland State, right? right. I mean, the same Houston State. You can come up with every excuse. Oh, well, they you know they were great defense last year. Or, 
Yeah, but that and Portland State both come to mind. You got to come out. You got to trounce the FCS school, and it doesn't tell you a ton about your team. It doesn't tell you you're going to be great if you win seventy to seven. That's great, but it doesn't mean you're going to have a successful season. It does tell you a little bit about the makeup of your team, um, but outside of that, there's not much of a draw. You hope you just come out and trounce them. If you come out with a close victory, uh, it kind of spells doom for the rest of your season. <laughs> yeah, it's more of uh, you do well. It doesn't really say much, but if you do poorly, it could say something. Um, yeah, I agree with you. The reason why I put them ahead of SMU is because I'm hyped, a little more hyped just because it is the first game of the season, and I'll be excited to have college football back and be watching uh, BYU football. So oh, yeah. that is how uh, they got ranked ahead of SMU for me. So my next one up is, if it's not clear by now, is Wyoming. doing my uh, Got the out-of-conference games out of the way. There you go. I put Wyoming a little bit higher. I put Wyoming at seven. Okay, let's hear why. Uh, I have I have this memory of, uh, I, I, I don't know if it was the 97 or 98 BYU team, but I was super into it. I couldn't stay up late to watch the game. My dad made me go to bed. I'm like, yeah, whatever, it's Wyoming. Uh, you know, we're, we're having a great season anyway. And I'm, I will never forget him waking me up the next morning and saying, <laughs> saying, don't ever underestimate the frozen turf in Laramie. <laughs> It's a nightmare, and we indeed lost that game. Um, there's just something about playing in Laramie, right? The Lavelle quote that uh, rather lose in Provo than live in Laramie or win in Laramie, and um, there's just some some bad blood there. So I I ranked it higher on the schedule. I think it's the best of our non-conference games. I still wish we weren't playing it. I don't want to go play Wyoming at Wyoming in in uh, non-conference play right now. I, I don't think that's where we need to be. But the fact that we're playing it. I'm excited to see us go up there, maybe just for nostalgia, see how we do. Right, and and I think, well, one SMU and, and Wyoming, I think both have great logos, and uh, but I I guess there's something about that horse silhouette that I, I'm into. I never I, I learned something about myself while making this. <laughs> uh, the we'll have to debate logos another time. I'm not I'm not sure. I'm not high on either of those. Um, the and great uniforms too. I think SMU is one of the best in in uh, college football. But yes, the, but 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 the cowpokes are one of the worst, or or the worst. So I mean, you you just can't do anything with brown and yellow to make it look good. I like that they've really just leaned into that. <laughs> but, um, besides they the, uh, they, I, I do like. That's why there's high there because, and arguably could have put them ahead of UCF because I like that it is an old time rivalry game for BYU which makes it a little bit more fun and, and, again, ahead of the other two on the out-of-conference schedule. All right, how about you? Who do you have at nine? All right, number nine, I'm going with Kansas State. Our our Big 12 home opener, um, Cotton Bowl rematch. There's a lot of intrigue around this game, but I'll tell you, I am not uh, – I, uh, I am not anticipating a good game out of the Cougars here. We'll get into my predictions for the season later on, but um, – Kansas State is is going to come into town, and I'm afraid they're going to do a number on on the Cougars, and I'm not looking forward to that piece. There's some other Big 12 matchups I'm looking forward to. This one in particular, um, I don't sense us doing well, and uh, I'm I'm not looking forward to that aspect of it. I completely agree. I mean, I I get that side of it, and I do think it's going to be rough for BYU. The the yeah i mean coming off of two games one at smu one at wyoming and then and then getting kansas state you know at home what a way to open uh the conference play uh but i there's just something about being in the big 12 and every time we're playing some of these original big 12 schools is just exciting to me it's the first even though i won't be there being the home opener that's exciting and uh, hopefully, you, you know, the out of conference schedule goes well, that we're still excited and hyped a little bit and playing for something. So I'm excited for all that. Having said that, yeah, I agree. It's most likely going to be a rough one. But ha- Kansas State, having not played them last year and having not played them since uh, the Cotton Bowl, you know, it, it will stink to see, uh, you know, that, uh, you know, they'll now get a, a win in that, you know, another win in the, in the win column after we've been able to sit on that, that victory for so many years. But um, yeah, I don't know. It's just kind of exciting for me uh, hyped to, to see that matchup and another, you know, between BYU and Kansas state, another great uniform matchup right there. So yeah, absolutely. Uh, number eight for me is 
Houston. Really? Uh, it should again. This went back to did I when I hyped for, um, you know, the opponent, or am I hyped for you know the implications on, on for BYU season? I mean, this will be the last game of the season, very likely, just like last year, the a chance to go bowling is going to rest on this game. And so it could be higher. Um, Houston just doesn't excite me much uh, in general. And this, you know, uh, if, you know, if things go as are projected that they won't, uh, you know, they won't be very good. So, I mean, although it could be a chance to see BYU, um, you know, do really well, which would be exciting, but I just, I'm just not hyped for it. I have Houston at three. For Ooh. actually all the reasons you named, uh, I see us uh, ha- having a bowl game on the line going to Houston. Uh, so just the significance of that game for our program, if we don't go bowling this year, and there's there's a fair chance we don't, um, look out. Uh, there's going to be some changes. I'm not going to say it's, it's a head coaching change, <clears throat> excuse me, by any means. Um, but uh, it, that's tough to come back from two losing seasons. So there's a lot on the line, not for this season and going bowling and feeling good about it, but for the future of the program, Uh, you got to go bowling this year. And I think it'll come down to the Houston game. I hope it comes down to the Houston game because I like our odds in that game fighting for bowl eligibility. Um, And I think we've got a shot. So because of the implications of that game, I put it number three. Yeah. I I mean, it just kind of depends on how you're basing your hype. And, uh, and I totally get that. I went back and forth on that, but, um okay so who do you have at number eight number eight i've got arizona i'm excited about this game um i think unfortunately for arizona losing their head coach they will not be as good as they were um however we can go into this in more detail in a future episode they they have the weakest non-conference slate or excuse me weakest uh overall schedule of anyone in the big 12 uh, weakest strength of schedule. And because of that, I think they're going to be vying for uh, a Big 12 title uh, game appearance. Uh, I don't know that they're the top two teams in the league, per se. I think BYU is going to have a shot in this game. Um, but uh, I, I don't know that this is one that you'd put squarely in the win column for us. Uh, I put it similar to the K-State game, which is why it's right next to that. I think they come into town. Uh, we play with them a little bit, but they've got enough pieces left over from an amazing team last year where I, th- I think they escaped Provo with a win. So, and I, thinking about it, using my logic, I probably should have put them even higher. They were just a little less exciting because Arizona has been a school that we've continued to play on a somewhat regular basis over the years. And so that's true, uh, you know, an old whack rival. So it wasn't as I wasn't as hyped to have them but they are definitely one of the, um, you know, those, in, those teams that maybe not in the, the top, top of the conference, but that kind of next tier still upper echelon of the conference. And so um, I had them up there in terms of hype, but also because during that, that really difficult stretch of BYU schedule where they've got um, several tough teams coming to town, I do think that that is one that we might have the best shot at, um, of picking off and, and winning and getting a win there on one of those games where we won't be favored. And so, um, so arguably I I could have put them even higher, but again, just because it's kind of a a face we're familiar with, it's just a little bit of a less hype. Yeah. Yeah. I I don't disagree. I, I think that is one in a tough stretch of games that we really need, uh, to win and, if they had kept their head coach, I'd say no chance. They were fun to watch last year. That was a really impressive team. I worry they've lost key pieces and the head coach was making it all tick. The guy they brought in, not the most amazing resume. Um, so he could be good, but I really feel like Arizona is going to take a step back. And, and I feel like in future years, we'll really have a good shot at winning those games against Arizona. But I think it'll be pretty good this next year. Yeah. So, um, all right. Let's see. Oh, I guess I'm up. So at seven, I have uh, ASU. So again, this was similar logic as Houston. It's just they're not projected to be very good. So um, not super hyped about it. I, although, again, 
countering that point using uh, the logic. ASU uh, is going to be a very necessary game for BYU to pick up if they want to make it to a bowl game. Yeah, and and I've got them at number four um, for the exact same reasons. It's funny, so, similar thought to Houston. I feel like we've got a shot in this game. Super looking forward to those games where where I feel like we can get in there and make some noise, win a football game. Second to last game of the year. We really, really need this game uh, big time to be able to go bowling. I think we go in there with a losing record, having to win that game. So there's going to be a lot on the line. Uh, I think it'll be a fun one to watch. Yeah, I hope so. And and BYU should turn out very well for that game. One, I am I mean, BYU always travels well, but especially out west and in Arizona, we've seen that. But I can't imagine that, you know, if they're having a rough season and you look at their schedule, they could get off to a rough start. They, I think they open with Wyoming. So, I mean, they could get off to a very rough start. By the time they're playing BYU, fans just might not be that interested. So BYU yeah. could have, you know, when you talk about proportions there in their stadium, BYU could have a really good showing. I, I agree. They could. Uh, I think Arizona State's going to struggle mightily on a few fronts this year. Um, and so you really could. You could see BYU fans show out and, and have a fun game there. All right. Number six, who you got? <sighs> Number six, I'm going to go with Kansas. I'm intrigued by Jeff Grimes' return. Uh, see what he can do with that offense. Um, I feel somewhat similar to Kansas State and Arizona. I don't know how competitive we are in this game. Uh, but I, uh, I, I do like having them at home this year. Uh, we were pretty competitive last year with them. They feel like they're, they're head and shoulders above some of the big 12 competitions. So I don't know how, how much we hang with them. Um, but, uh, I do love the Jeff Grimes rematches. I'm glad he's still in the conference. So, oops, I, I was thinking six instead of thinking Kansas. Um, well, there's my next pick. So, um, <laughs> Kansas, I got them at four. Uh, and yeah, for, I guess the same reasons you said, it's going to be kind of a, you know, we, we were there last year. I thought we, I mean, they definitely won the game, but we hung with them for a lot of the game. And, uh, I don't know if this year is going to be any better, but it's, I think BYU does pretty well on bounce back games. It's going to be in Provo. Who knows? Maybe we get a night game. It, it could be fun. It's one that I could see BYU winning, although I don't really expect it. Um, but so I just think it's just going to be kind of a fun matchup again, a traditional Big 12 school. Uh, Baylor, uh, going to my number six pick, is they, they could have been higher. I, I, the reason why I have them as high as they are um, is, well, I guess, one, because of the, even though they're not expected to be very good, BYU and Baylor have established this pretty fun, friendly rivalry, whatever. Um, and so it'll be fun to play them again after playing two years and then being off last year and uh, going back at it. So it'll be, be a lot of fun there. But also, this is a game early on that, uh, you know, depending on how the season goes, uh, be you know, it could be very pivotal. It could be setting BYU up to potentially be four and one to start the season before that first bye. And so... Uh, a lot could rest on that. And so I think while BYU still jockeying for position, it'll determine a lot on how the rest of the season is going to go and, uh, and really their odds on being able to make it to a bowl game. Yeah. Yeah. I put Baylor number two on my list. Uh, I love this budding rivalry. I hope it continues. Uh, it's a fun team to have a back and forth with similar cultural elements there between the schools and, um, and I hope that grows, but it is really pivotal. If you look at those early season games for the reasons you mentioned, I don't know that we'll really know who BYU is. You'll come through the non-conference slate, um, you know, uh, maybe haphazardly, maybe you do well there. I don't think you beat Kansas State at home. And then you go to Baylor, who's struggled. Uh, they're hoping to bounce back this year. Uh, if you can win that game at Baylor on the road uh, in a semi-rivalry environment, you know, you really, you really push yourself into some positive momentum through the rest of that schedule. You got Ma Arizona. Maybe you can pull that one off at home if you're if you're still riding that momentum, uh, riding high on confidence. Uh, a few games later, you got you got the rivalry game in Utah. So there's there's a lot that can come from a win at Baylor 
uh, and that combined with the the budding rivalry we have with him, I thought that's that's probably the the second most game I'm excited for. Yeah, yeah, um, I I can see that, and obviously I love that rivalry. It's just again they're not supposed to be as good, but then again people are counting BYU down as well, so it it really is a must win game. So uh, I think at two makes a lot of sense. At three for me, I've got OSU. I'm guessing that's your number five. Indeed. Uh, and so for me, uh, again, it's just another team that we were right there with them and everyone expects them to be at the top of the conference. We get them back uh, in Provo this time. And while I wouldn't necessarily expect us to win that game, I think BYU will uh, come out motivated. It should be an exciting one. And really, I mean, based on last year, yes, they could very well – lead the conference but they were hot and cold all year last year we'll see if they figured some things out and and can be more consistent but if not i mean i think byu again i wouldn't put the odds on that they you know they're not they shouldn't be favored to win most likely they probably won't have great odds but um you know could come in and, and really compete so i'm excited to see that one yeah it's it's if it weren't for last year's game, I'd put OSU where I put Kansas State. Mm. Uh, Big 12 team coming in that's really good. Probably going to you know, throw their weight around. But Kalani does really well in revenge games. Uh, and that OSU game has is what everyone's been thinking of all offseason. Because that was how he ended it. In overtime, can't get it done. Um, and so I think there is a little extra motivation there. Um, I, you know, you you got them at home in the middle of the season. I don't think you're going to catch OSU off guard, uh, but I do think BYU comes out highly motivated. And of all of those tough Big 12 p- opponents we've got at home, Kansas State, Arizona, Kansas, I feel like o- OSU we have the best shot at, not because they're uh, they're more beatable, but because of that revenge factor. And BYU tends to do well in that environment. Should be exciting, uh, nonetheless. And uh, Let's see. And so obviously we both have Utah – exciting we're back in conference and uh you know the the major rival how do you not uh put the holy war at number one yeah yeah it's it's the one you're most hyped for i still wish it was rivalry week i don't love the position on the schedule um in week 11 uh i really want to see that on rivalry weekend but outside of that this is awesome pure gold you want it every every year you want to have this on the books and it's awesome we're in the same conference again that we can do this yeah, super exciting. Uh, there could have been an argument to put it lower because facing your rival at their place in a year where you know they're projected to end the season in a much better position than you are <laughs> seems like you're setting yourself up for disappointment. But uh, you know, when you have one of the best premier rivalries in college football, you've got to you got to have that as your most yep. hype. And when looking at yours again, I went back and forth on how to approach this. I kind of went, you know, the the big names, some of the exciting matchups up front um, at the top of my list and talk about setting yourself up for disappointment. I think if those are the games I'm most hyped for, I probably will come away disappointed, whereas you've set yourself <laughs> up for, you know, here are the manageable games. Let's um, let's see, you know, get get up for the games that the BOU has the best chance in. So um, two different process, thought processes there. Yeah. but. Um, we'll see who's happier at the end of the season, but That's yeah, right. I, I mean, as long as we get to a bowl game, there's a path there in this, um, but you know, it's going to be tough, but nonetheless, it's BOU football. I'm, I'm hyped for all of it and I'm, I'm ready yep. for them. Um, yep. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. Uh, before we finish, what in the world is Southern Illinois logo? I, I cannot, I cannot figure that out. That is it's that is a, something special. A Lucas, so, something. It looks like a uh, one of those dogs with the <laughs> that's in the. Maybe that's what a Salukis. I don't know. Saluki. I, I didn't do more research. Oh, the Salukis. Yes. Well, I don't know what that is, so I'll have to do our research before we play him. But uh, yes, that is. It's memorable, nonetheless. I mean, that is. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, now you know. So I, I can't believe you hadn't heard of them before. Um, <laughs> what's your take on their uniforms? I'm just kidding. Uh, so, I hope they're like the logo. <laughs> and some shaggy uh, 
hair there. Um, all right. So uh, those are the games we are hyped for this season. Uh, we're going to also do another video on breaking down the season and where we think BYU's, uh, which games are we're expected to, or where we think we'll win and lose for the season and, and our overall record. So be sure to like this video, subscribe, so you can come back and uh, check that video out as well. Thanks so much for watching. Go Cougs. Go Cougs.